Welcome to Obsessed Garage. What you're looking at here, everything laid out on the countertop here, is 25 years of my pursuit, my obsession. I'm obsessed with products and what I call functional excellence. So what I'm doing, and this is an idea a buddy of mine gave me, I don't know why I never came up with it, but it's a genius idea, in that I'm gonna give somebody a version of my garage with flooring, lighting, lift, cabinets, 20 plus drawers of uh, Sonic tools, uh, every single detailing product that I use in my, in my process, and I'm gonna give it to somebody, I'm gonna fly to their house, uh, and we're gonna install it together and make their version of an obsessed garage. We're gonna choose colors, choose cabinets, choose uh, lighting, choose to make it just like mine. So go to obsessedgarage.com, click on the banner image. It'll take you to how to win. You gotta buy some shirts or some hats or become a member of my, uh, my personal inside the, inside the Hex membership program. And that'll give you a chance to win a garage just like mine. All right, day two. Rear sway bar. Dang, this thing looks tiny. <laughs> I guess the stock one's tiny too. Yeah. This one's a little less tiny. I gotta look up the spec differences. So let's shoot the middle. I'm shooting the middle, I guess. Pretty oh, adjustable. Yeah. And then I can always play with it later. Yeah, there's a lot of room for adjustment in the back. Yeah. You have the rear shocks in already? Yeah. Sweet. All right, so rear shocks. Sorry, I was out hanging out at BC yesterday and I got sidetracked and then they got it all done. I got too much sweating. I'm getting soft in my old age. Soft, so soft that I'm here having Ali do it for me. That's soft number one. Soft number two, I got tired of watching somebody do it. That's how bad I've got. So rears in, all ADC functionality will be maintained. Yeah, I just gotta tighten the top hat because I had to take up a bunch of stuff to get it in there. But we gotta put it back in and then connect connect the EDC. And here's the stock setup. This reuses the stock sway bar end lengths. There aren't there aren't different end lengths. And uh, I'm gonna look up what the uh, how much how much thicker this is. It may be the same as stock, just with adjustability. That's what I'm guessing. And I'm a, I'm a fan of, especially for a car like this, that I'm not gonna be driving aggressively for the ecosystem that Dynan provides us with. I also figured out, come on, focus. You know, angry I get editing myself back when I'm waiting for it to focus. So I also figured out why this thing, the exhaust was having a little, little tingle. It was driving me crazy. I thought it was the valves, but the valves appeared stout. Well, I guess they put it in the jig backwards because this, this little piece here, I thought the other side was backwards, but this, you can see where it's rubbing and vibrating. So we're gonna snip that off. The other side points downward, so I thought this was the wrong way, but this actually makes more sense so it doesn't hit, doesn't hit on the metal bracket. So we're going to cut that off. Did you notice my sawzall marks on the uh, sway bar? <laughs> so I was using a fancy little, uh, you know, one of those little um, chain cutters to try to cut the exhaust. I'm sitting there for an hour, just just back and forth, then it squat. Are you talking about the one that's like? Yeah. 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 So after it's basically scored it, and I'm like, all right, well, I'll I'll grab a nice little this little hacksaw and just do it little bit by bit, and then after about an hour, I said, screw it, just grab the freaking sawzall and just start hacking, <laughs> <laughs> hacking my brand new new to me M5. That's cool, at least you don't have to remove the exhaust. I 
and then the end link just bolts into, into here. That's a good thing you're doing this. I would have been mounting it upside down. <laughs> what I can do, depending on how it handles. If I want to dial it a little more, a little less oversteer, I can change the position of the end links. Okay, you have access right here. There's not stuff in the way. Yeah, nice and easy. Yeah, because some cars, like, the sway bar is actually behind this way. Uh, yep, and you gotta remove a bunch of crap. Yeah. yeah, that's nice and easy to get to. Oh, I've also seen somebody do this where they put the um, gun on here yeah. and they try to take out the bolt and hit the tent. Oh, yeah. And it just goes. <laughs> Break the rear window. Yep. Or make it like a pretty decent gash in the, <laughs> in the tent. tent. Every video you watch about this, they say to not lose the bolts, which is true. Oh, yeah. If they'll you disappear. Them, they'll disappear and they'll make rattling noises. Yeah, don't do that. We, already, we have them in, so we're good. Or your socket. Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't do this myself. So he has to route the wire back through on the trim. Oh yeah, there also don't pitch the wire with the, yeah. with the side of the holster, whatever it's called because you don't want the drivetrain malfunction. Yeah. It'll only malfunction in like 45 minutes from here and then the light will come off. And then I'm gonna have to tear it all apart. The joys of aftermarket modification. Just follow the BMW procedure. That's what Dyna tells us to do. Follow your heart. Yeah. Don't drop the screw. <laughs> Speaker grill, and we're done with that side. Repeat the procedure on this side. Yeah, banging all of some real fancy. At least there's a tweeter and woofer. Probably no crossover though, just a capacitor. All right, that's a good sign. Wheels are going back on. That's part, we don't have to take them off for the Oh, yeah. I love that. That's fantastic. Not the same in the front, though. That'll do it. Shouldn't rub now. No more rubbing. We're gonna have a uh, crazy camber now. Let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, you got no space in there. <laughs> you have to come up a little in the rear. Same thing in the front. Holy cow. I wish my M3 would lower this much. Ah, the front looks good. Come on, bro. I'm not, this is too much for me. Got some camber, though. The front, look, I can fit a whole hand in there. Oh yeah, but Side it's too way. low. That side looks a little better. It needs to come up a little bit. I'm not cool. Come up the rear a little bit and then leave the front. Give it a rake. No, uh, I think the, both need to come up. Eh, I can't, eh. Looks pretty good. I'm just not used to this car looking so low. 
Yeah, rear's gonna have to come out. The last car, there was like the same height, and he was able to do a U turn with no issues. Yeah. This side looks lower, doesn't it? It's also the unevenness, because that side um, left is higher. Okay. Hmm. The both sleeves are the same. Yeah. As far as height. All right, let's come up in the rear. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see where we're at here. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. That's flush, bro. That's gonna rub, isn't it? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. I'm a grown up. We need a couple of grown up turns to the up, up to the upness. My wife's my wife's gonna drive this car and she's gonna rip the front lip off. That little chin thing there is a lot of money. So we need to get this thing in the right spot. I won't even notice it. Huh? So if she hits it, she oh yeah, yeah, she just keep going. Just keep yeah. rolling. Oh, yeah. something keep like, rolling through Chick-fil-A. Something made a noise, so I just kept driving. All right, so we're coming up a little bit. Like an eighth of an inch. Quarter of an inch. Okay. Suspension's so good. Alright. There's that side, equal it out on this side. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna make you put it back low again after I... I'm like, oh, I don't like it. Yeah, it's a little too high. Go halfway in between that. Like, now it's too low. I like the way these, uh, these perches turn though with that, that tool, I think so much better than a normal um, spanner wrench. It gives you more leverage. Yeah. It doesn't pop off and then you bust your knuckles. Yeah. The assumption is your suspension stays always clean, you know? Yep. So everything comes off pretty easy. Which is false. I feel like some people go rallying every day. <laughs> Not this guy. I go washing, car washing every day. That's what people think. Yeah, I prefer that. Over yeah. And I gotta do something to make this thing look a little less old manny in this Silverstone. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Eyeball spec. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. There. Yeah, that's good, dude. What do you think? I think that's perfect. Yeah, I do too. Uh, yeah. That's my style right there, bro. Yeah, and then we'll see what then we'll see what it looks like. It's doing this right now. Yeah. The rear might be a little high. No, I mean, I think that's good, dude. Uh, might have to go up some on the rear? No, we're not going up any in the rear. Remember, BMWs always have a little reverse rake, almost. At least the look of a reverse lake brake, because the, you know, the rears are tucked and the fronts are always sitting high. But I think that looks good. Let's put the other rear up and see what it looks like. So I was doing a gimbal, the whole deal. I gave up after what, what an hour? What do you think? <laughs> the height? I think the eyeball spec is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Looks exactly the same. You gotta, comp that's the shadow, man. You're, you're compensating for the shadow. That's the yeah. shadow. Yeah. You're not looking at it properly. Let me put some light on it. See the front now? The, the rear looks the same. Did you come down at all? I did. 
Yeah, front's good. It's exactly where we had it before. Yeah, it's a shadow. You're living. Those two fingers. Not one. I think it needs to be half. Same thing with this. One finger. You notice how the bike just goes But that's normal on BMW because of the arch. I don't know. I think you need to talk to your shop advisor. Flush, bro. Yeah, we don't do that stance nation here. No, this is grown up. Grown up grandpa spec. All right, this is gonna be a test. What time is it? It's like 10.30 a.m. We're gonna be able to do down pipes and a dining intake with the front bumper off, get the car aligned, wheels and tires done. Don't give me that, let's go. Don't even talk to the camera, I'm not here. You just move. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's, there you go, I like that. Don't, only don't talk, just keep, just go. Do your thing. <laughs> So what we're doing is high flow cats, which is kind of a waste of time, but I'm doing it because I can. Oh, we also have to tune it as well. No big deal. I'm gonna be here till midnight. What? Like a tablet or on a computer? Uh, oh, it's ESS, so we have to. I don't ask. I'll ask Sean what to do. Because we might have to read files. It just depends. Meaning we have to download and then send it to them? Yeah. So both DMEs are detached. And then he's going to pull off the heat shield, disconnect the two sensors, and do all that stuff. DME bracket comes off. And it never falls to the ground, yeah. Usually, these two don't line up with the aftermarket downpipes, but we'll see. Maybe this time they will. Take off this. Heat shield next to the high pressure fuel pump. They're also all different. So they're like Allen, Torx, the Torx. Yeah. And then there's like E Torx. There you go. And this thing protects the PCV pipe because they get so hot. But they crack right here, mm. and then you start blowing smoke over there. Those are four four hex on the side there. One, two, three, four. One, three. Three and those you don't have to take all the way out. Oh, because they'll just. Yeah, sit on the heat shield it. when you pull it up. Getting it back on is kind of a pain. Because the heat shield gets stuck on it. Yeah. Same thing on this side, three hack or torques. Hey, it's pretty darn sophisticated how stupid down pipes are set up. Yep, uh, so we take out these two brackets, I yep. mean these two bolts, same side, this, this. Yep. I'll just leave this on. I don't know if the AMS down pipes retain this clip, I mean the 
bracket? I think so. <clears throat> yeah, there's like a little bracket coming off of it. Yeah. And then we just have to take these two 13s and then there's a uh, two 11s on the bottom. And cool. We'll slip them out. There's the heat shield. You need bracket. You can see it'll reuse the brackets, the OE brackets. Look at that. Sway bar. Be a better view of the sway bar in lengths. And so now he's got to get. How much crap do you got to take apart under here? Nothing? So that and that. Oh, okay. That's and easy. And there's a flange here. And then there's a gasket. So that's easy, you know? And the mid pipe on this car is pretty. There's not really any reason to change the middle exhaust on this. It's pretty darn stout. Yeah, I mean, unless you want to change the sound a little yeah. bit. Yeah, get it. Not real big fan of farting, so. That's why the new gasket came out with it. Same thing with this. Oh, uh, put a new gasket on because. You could be lazy like me and do this the hard way, or you could take the exhaust out. <laughs> We're not doing that. We don't got time for that. We're on a time crunch. There you go. Now five are loose. Sweet. Okay, so you have to loosen this bracket on the back. Unless you want to fight with it to get the slack. Because the bracket is like an uh, adjustable bracket. Mm. So it can go up and down. It's, it's almost a little bit of slack. Jeez, the cat is giant. I guess it's the only, there are only single cats on this car. Yeah, I'd say, uh, I'd say, uh, More efficient. Worst case, we're gonna lose a little bit of weight. Also, the O2 sensor holes right here, which is weird. It's down lower. Yeah, I don't know if the harness is gonna reach. I have to turn off the rear of juice. Here we go. Old versus new. It's gonna make some more noise, just that, just that. All right, let's wrap them. Yeah. Anybody's doing down pipes, I suggest doing it. Yeah. Because it gets so hot in there, it starts melting some of the plastic too. Especially on like X5s. Yeah. Like the back area burns up and it just starts melting. So we're going to do this heat wrap, thermal wrap. Yeah, cool. So what do you do? You soak it in water? Yeah, soak it in water so it's like more, I guess, conforming to the shape. Uh huh. Because when you do it dry, it's like really um, weird to do it. Slides around. Slides around. It doesn't like sit straight. This bracket is not helping, but I'm gonna have to work with it. We should just wrap the whole exhaust all the way back. We can. It'll take a while. <laughs> we don't have a while. Something tells me I'm going to be in a hotel room again tonight. <laughs> you got no faith? I've got faith in you. I also got a lot of hundreds in my wallet too to make get it done. So we're like double double dosed here with a ceramic coating, ceramic paint. Never hurts. And 
thermal wrap. You know what I found when I'm here? I get dumb all of a sudden. Like, I can't do anything myself. <laughs> like, I'm trying to lower the suspension. I'm like, which way does this go? Like, it's because I have you to rely on. I can't, I can't think for myself. It's ridiculous. Well, I get paid to do it. Yeah, but I mean, when I'm, when I'm by myself, you don't have a choice. You know, then, I'm, then I'm having to think. Well, that's when Weird. Google comes in play. Yeah. I do the same thing with the you know guys that like my media team like uh, I'm like I don't know how to set this camera up set it up for me. So we got we got some metal metal ties to keep it in position. Number two. And then over here. Try to put one over here. Just to be safe. It's also going to shrink a little bit once get some heat. Alright, so I got the height set up, I think. It's set up pretty well. Here we go. It's good. So what about, uh, do you have to put those gaskets on first? That I can do afterwards because I can drop the exhaust down. Oh, uh, yeah, we can pull down on it. Just to be safe, <laughs> we can put exhaust sealer on this surface because there's a gasket here. Yeah. 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 Blow by on that, huh? Say put anti seize, but I've never had issues with BMWs being yeah, stuck. Need, need either, yeah. Anti seize just makes a mess. Yeah, and then it also smells. Yeah. And you get it in your back shoulder and your earlobes and your kneecaps. It ends up everywhere when I touch it. I've also seen O2 sensors read wrong because of it. Mm. I guess it's from like maybe putting too much anti seize on it. And it gets yeah. on like the actual. Well, there's none on there from the factory. And BMW's always right. They use gas. They use a washer right there. That's all it needs. Yeah. <laughs> Number one, a whole lot more space. Alright, now we'll go to the bar. Alright, let's see. Well, the gasket is actually on the pipe right now. Oh, on the inside of it? Yeah. You can see how it sits in there. The gasket slips in there. And this is like the spacer. I got it. So it fits on the, uh, there's like a chamfer to the flange there, and then it just sits. Are you going to be able to pull it out? All right, they supplied new uh, new gaskets. We put those in on the bottom. And so now we can button it up up top here. Bracket sits on there. Perfect. This is a good fitment. Yeah. And now we just put these on. 
the thing with these, they can't go too high. And you can't put them in the wrong position. This is the waste kit actuator sits right here. Mm. So it could interfere with it. And also the top heat shield, if you don't put it the right way because it channels in. Yep. It won't like seal all the way. But the most important thing is that these two surfaces meet together the right way. <laughs> Otherwise you get confused. Dang, the fit, fit of this is pretty nice. Everything lined up perfectly. So the AMS, uh, this is why I, I you know, bought what the IND guys had to buy because they've, you know, just like you guys, they're testing a lot of crap. Unlike most. Yeah, the fitment is definitely pretty good yeah. as far as all the brackets and the Brackets went in right. Those two sensors went in properly. And looks good. We just tighten everything down the same way it came out. Okay, I made the executive decision. We're not we're not doing the intake today. I'm gonna save that for another another day. Another project. We still got a lot of work to do. Get the suspension dialed in, the alignment done. We get the Corvette wheels mounted and balanced. Um, we're also not doing the steering wheel either. I'm gonna do the regular and performance steering wheel instead. So we're putting the uh, intakes back in. We'll put all the stuff back in the wheel wells, all that stuff back on. We gotta go drive the car around and then we gotta align it. That'll be a big project in and of itself. It's already one third. So the intake is like 28 pages of instructions. So I'll tackle that some other day. Maybe, maybe, but yeah, probably in the AC. Do like a couple hours at a time, go take a nap, take a week off, come back, do another couple hours, another nap. That's how I'm gonna do it. Oh, we also have to do the tune as well. So we need to get this sucker back together and fired up so we can pull the, pull the DME down and then send it off. And takes in. Uh, final piece. The giant. Okay. I need to get me a carbon fiber one. All right. Let me go get Alexis and see if we can get the, uh, get the tune back. Yeah. The battery. M M5, you gotta have jumper cables. Cause they randomly go dead. Yeah. Turbos. I freaking hate it. Here, give me a well just so I can hear it. Not bad. Sounds kind of good. Still open. They don't. I don't know how they open or close. Still open. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna do the active auto work tune. So he's gonna pull the stock file off the car, send it to them so we can get it here before I leave, hopefully. All right, so they got the car set up on the uh, charger, or the, what do we call that thing? Maintainer. Yep. And uh, he's gonna pull the, pull the stock file off, down off the car. And then, We'll send it to active. No, no, no. And they'll send it back with 100 horsepower. It's it pretty, it. pretty legit. What you doing there, Matt? I go brain dead when I get here. It's like I don't know how to do anything on my own anymore. Really? What happens when I pay people to stop? <laughs> you end up finishing myself. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.